hello and welcome to the Delta Diner. Thanks to all of the class members who were at the Blue Heron last Thursday. Uh, they were kind enough to include the Delta Diner and we had a great time uh, spending three hours with all of you. As promised, we're going to uh, touch on all the techniques we talked about in that class and do it in short order, uh, video format, so you can uh, download these, hang on to them and use them as a reference if you decide to do some cooking. Uh, before we start, I want to remind you, just remember that the ingredients that are going into this are the ingredients we did, but the techniques will apply to pretty much any range of vegetables that you want to use, so be creative and have fun with it. First of all, we're going to touch base back with the Brussels sprouts. We touched on two techniques for using Brussels sprouts, um, many applications for both. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll uh, get right into that. We have some basic ingredients. We've got our Brussels sprouts here. Um, these are whole. We're going to create two different types of Brussels sprouts, one for a saute salad, the other strictly halves that we can saute as a side. We've already sliced some fresh cremini mushrooms to save a little time. Leeks. Last thing we'll do, just to avoid cross-contamination, is bacon. And that's a good Applewood Smoke Delta Diner bacon from 6th Street Market. And uh, why don't we bring this together? As we did in class, two techniques. First technique, you trim it rather short. I'm going to trim off a few of the outside leaves here, but you see the brussel is pretty much staying together on its own. And then I'm going to cut it in half. You see they stay together. That's going to be for our, our side, um, wonderful side for anything that you want to include a vegetable with. As you can see, they go in with these. The other technique, rather than trimming it here, which we just did, I'm going to move up the brussel a bit and trim it here. Now what's going to happen with that when I cut it in half, because we trimmed it further up, there are going to be all sorts of leaves that can peel off of there. And we want a little bit of a leafy content to the, the saute, but we still want to have these hearts that we can uh, have a little bit different texture and the full you know, Brussels sprout taste to them. Those are going to go here, and you can see it's a whole different thing. So I'm going to finish up the rest of these, and we will be good to go. I'm going to do these all as leaves because I have more of the other type available. So I just want to even out our sautés here. I'm going to go like so, break those off. You can see those leaves come off there really nicely. Now, from an efficiency standpoint, repetition helps in the kitchen. So I'm going to do all these cuts first. You can see it goes much faster because I'm not picking up and setting down the knife. Just get rid of all my ends here. Now I'm going to cut them in half. You can put it on the flat side. It's a little nicer surface for cutting, a little more stable. Less uh, chance for the knife rolling and cutting something you don't want to cut. As you can see, every time I'm doing a different type of cut or I'm peeling here, um, I'm doing all of them the same and I'm doing them in a, in a sequence that allows me the repetition of the same motion, which is really going to help you in prep time. These look really nice. This should be good. All right. So now we have our Brussels prepared. Set those aside. Leeks are going into both of these. I'm going to trim off the root. Again, we don't want to use the real green portion. We're going to stay with the tender light green. For these leeks, this is a medium size stalk. So what I'm going to do 
is just cut this. This one I'm actually going to cut again just to get the right size. This one's a little smaller. And now I don't want, I want these to stand up so I'm not going to make it so that they just disappear. Alright, that's going to be enough leaks. What I'll do is, uh, because these are going to cook at the same time, I'll just kind of split them up half and half into our uh, Brussels sprout mixtures. Nice shot. All right. Clean up after myself a little bit here. It's easier if you clean as you go, then you don't get a whole bunch of different stuff where you don't want it. Mushrooms. The mushrooms are only going into the salad portion, so I'll set these here. These are our halves. Now the last thing I'm going to do, so move my vegetable cutting board aside, so I'm going to prep some of this bacon. In class we use salt pork. Similar thing, uh, you can use salt pork, you can use bacon if you like a certain flavor of bacon. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a little thinner, so I'm going to cut it a little bit larger than we did in class. But again, totally flexible, however you want to do this. With bacon, don't just push down. you got to slide through it, otherwise it doesn't cut. And you end up just squishing it. That's going to do. I'm going to set this knife aside because I've used this for, uh, for bacon now. And any other vegetables, we'll either wash that knife or we'll, we'll use, it, uh, use a different knife. Okay, so that's uh, what we have as far as prep. Another thing in the saute salad that we covered is we covered a little bit of dark honey. This is just uh, just regular honey that's in that bowl. And what I'm going to do is add about a tablespoon, and we'll guesstimate here, of molasses. Now again, this isn't exact. You can uh, do with this what you want and we're going to mix that up but you can see molasses and honey it's going to give it uh, a sweet taste but it's also going to have a little bit of a, a bitter sharp edge because of the, uh, the molasses and that again we're going to use in the saute salad and I believe that should do it next we'll do some sauteing